wonderful Team Fortress 2 podcast available at uh, all good stockists. Um, I'm Agro, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that guy over there is, is Tempus, but we've got actually a Hello. special guest with us this evening, this wonderful evening. We actually have with us Enigma, creator of Team Fortress TV. How are you doing, mate? I'm good. How are you guys? Quite jolly. Slightly pissed, actually. Oh. No, I'm, I'm glad. I've been wondering how he's been doing for ages, but I wasn't allowed to know. No, no, I didn't. we actually <laughs> began this conversation a while ago. I, said, no, I, know, I know. You must not ask him questions. We are not recording <laughs> yet. So, uh, yeah, so glad you're doing okay, mate. This is uh, it's a bit of a slightly random one for us. We, we actually uh, found out that you, you created this website, this Team Fortress TV website, uh, at the beginning of the week. And... Uh, We've been kind of holding on to the information, hoping that uh, that we, we could be the ones to tell the world. But I guess that you've got a, a bit of press on uh, Reddit and uh, seems to be doing pretty well for yourselves. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's still kind of a work in progress. I still plan on doing more work on it right now, but figured it was ready for release, so I put it out there. It's one of the things that we did say about the, the actual um, website itself. It looks very sort of skinny. It looks very uh, devoid of... of uh, I was gonna say it's more sort of Apple-like, where there's, there's almost there's no distractions from from the core products, which is effectively telling you or telling the world about uh, uh, the competitive scene of Team Fortress Two. Is is that a deliberate thing, or is that just as you say, work in progress? It's like the beta, and what you're you're going to do is build the website around it. Um, I mean, it's part of both. I wanted to keep it simple, so that I mean it's easy to use for people new to the site. But also part of the reason is I don't want to step over the existing community sites and kind of take their place. I mean, a, a lot of places have done a lot of work and try to build up their viewer base. I don't want to steal any traffic from them either. In fact, one of the th things that you've got on there, you've got on there Vanilla TV, you've got on the EX Television, My Gaming Edge. You know, these are the, all the sort of the, the big three in terms of the, the competitive scene. Uh, presumably, you needed permission from these guys before you went ahead and, and made this website. Uh, no, actually. Um, so Twitch TV actually allows each broadcaster to specify if they allow people to embed their streams or not. So by default, the behavior is to allow them. So for whatever reason they don't want their stream on my site, they can easily just go disable it themselves. But you, you have a vested interest in the, the whole competitive environment anyway. I mean, you, you, you're registered as being with, with MixUp. Absolutely. I've been playing this game since around 2007 when this game came out, so I've been a part of this community for a long, long time. And this project was kind of a way for me to give back to the community I've been a part of for so long. How, how well has it been received? I mean, I know that uh, from that sort of introduction that uh, Reddit has, has got hold of this and probably put uh, put their own sort of 10 cents worth of information onto it, but, but generally speaking, how have people sort of taken this news of this website's creation? Um, it's been overwhelmingly positive so far. I haven't gotten like any negative feedback or anything from it. Um, so hopefully it'll just keep going as it is right now. I was going to say, if you do want to have any negative feedback, Spuff is actually uh, alive and well again. You could always sort of mention something on there and there'll be a thousand people queuing up to tell you how awful you are. Uh, well, any feedback is good feedback, so I'll probably be posting it there eventually too. Have you had any sort of input from the guys over at Valve? Maybe uh, one of them sort of had uh, a look at what you've done here. Uh, well, at the moment, I'm trying to get this kind of idea a little bit bigger before before I present it to Valve and hopefully eventually get a TF2 blog post. But right now, the main issue with the site is the lack of content from the actual streamers themselves. Um, it's kind of sparse, as in there's not consistently any not consistently a stream on at any given time it's usually just specific to the peak hours either here in europe that people are actually streaming so before i actually present this to valve i want kind of more active streamers on the site cool yeah. how are you going about looking for them are you literally just going on to places like uh live stream and, and well, not live stream sorry justin tv and just sitting and finding them or uh how are you going about finding them well, I mean, there's there's plenty of actual uh, TF2 streams on Twitch TV and other sites, but I'm mainly aimed at trying to get the uh, the, the TF2 players that are actually involved in competitive play to start streaming. And I've actually uh, been fairly successful in North America, at least, in getting people to start up streaming. Just a bit of a surreal moment with sort of us in us kind of thing going on here. But actually, it does kind of bring about a, an uh an interesting question we, we we noticed that when 
uh, we've, we finally managed to talk to you about this website then got you to, to add Critcast onto onto the list of available broadcasters um, that actually we seem to be dropped in at the top how is the how is the list how's the stacking done on on the the feature channels um, well first of all any stream that's live at the moment automatically gets put at the top and the currently live streams are sorted by viewer count, so whatever has the most viewers at the time is put at the top. Um, but and it, like anything that goes live is immediately given priority and put at the top. But eventually, what I want to do is um, kind of sort the streams according to when they last streamed, so the most active streamers get put at top. But at the moment, all the offline streams right now are just kind of put in arbitrary order. Right, so I noticed that you sort of have to sort of scroll down a bit to, to get to the content. Uh, one of the things I'm really sort of really happy about is that there are a large number of people on this. It's not just like the, the, the big podcast, it's not just the big three. Um, the, there is the, the new and up and comings. There's people who, who want to get involved with or have, have, have made sort of an attempt and maybe garnered a little bit of uh, respect within the field. Um, but they are they're kind of like the up and comers. Is it your intent to sort of open this up for anyone to maybe uh, sign in uh, and, and add themselves on? Or is this going to be an invite only? Right. Well, I, pretty much right, right now, it's anyone who ever, anyone and everyone who wants to uh, who wants the stream. I will definitely put them on the site right now. Uh, you may have just opened the floodgates there, <laughs> sir. But... Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> But I mean, are you going specifically for like we said on when on the show when we were covering it? At the moment, at least, it really seems like it's focused specifically on the competitive side of things. As in, you don't have many people on there who are just going into a random pub server. They don't really know what they're doing, but they like to stream everything that they do. You know, I, I is it? Are you going for a whole broad sense, or are you trying to specifically say the competitive scene or the you know any particular scene, or is it just TF2 of any kind? Everything's welcome. I mean, the main goal of the site was to actually draw people to competitive play. So, I mean, if if some just random pubber gets a ton of views and draws people to the site, eventually the people who watch the site will watch the competitive content too and hopefully draw them to that. So, anyone who streams a lot and gets a lot of viewers, I say, go ahead. Nice. Cool. Well, cool. Thank Good you way doing it. for doing this. Um, I, I, I've got no further questions. This sounds like a bizarre interview. Uh, yeah, any, any where do babies the, come um, from? Yeah, it's Babby, isn't it? Where, where did Babby come from? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, how, how does one meth? Um, how does one meth? I'd like to know. <laughs> that's awesome stuff. Enigma, thank you very much for doing this, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you when you've got a little bit more time to, to chat and uh, when there's a little bit more sort of flesh uh, on, on the bones of this site. Sure, absolutely. Nice one, mate. Take care and. Uh, Enjoy whatever it is you're going to do on uh, Sunday afternoon. All right. Thank you, guys. See ya. What a lovely man. He is a lovely man. I can, I can leave Mumble now, can't I? <laughs> yes, but, yeah. yes, we can leave Mumble. Uh, and your audio has gone way down all of a sudden. Uh, has it? Oh, maybe it's because I'm live streaming stuff. So uh, let me pause that. Um... I actually found that when I'm streaming stuff and watching stuff at the same time, my audio does tend to go downhill a little bit. Um, hopefully that wasn't an issue with, with that recording. I guess that we, we've got people in the chat room and they would have uh, they would have pointed out to me if, if my audio sounded suddenly dull the key ish in. Uh, but yeah, this was uh, a little bit of a post-show chat with, um, with Enigma, creator of Team Fortress TV. Uh, if you want to uh, have a look at his work, the actual website is teamfortress.tv. And um, I guess the best thing you can do is, is basically, if you want to be kept in the loop as to what's going on on Team Fortress TV, he actually has a pretty cool uh, tweet, Twitter site. Um, and I'm guessing he's going to be updating that. I think, I think, I think, I think. It's, uh, let me see, hovering over. Yeah, it's uh, Team Fortress TV. How can it be easier than it? that? Um, and, uh, of course, uh, check us out as well uh, at Quitscast. Uh, at Quitscast? Or go to Quitscast.com and, and we'll, keep Quitscast. You, yeah, we'll keep you yes. up to date on, on everything that changes in the world of Team Fortress 2. Um, 
the weird thing is because you're streaming at the moment and I'm yeah. watching our stream through Team Fortress TV stream, I was also trying to find the Twitter link, but I was hovering over the link <laughs> inside the video. <laughs> So I wasn't really getting it's anywhere with that. Not going to go anywhere, is it? You're not. You're not <laughs> no, I'm not going to get anywhere very quickly with that. You're clicking on. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. So anyway, this has been Agro. <laughs> that, that guy over there is Tempest. Uh, we, we'll uh, we're going to cut this feed for a second and then come back into it. Uh, just a, a big shout out to to everybody who's uh, streaming anywhere and everywhere. Uh, we know you guys uh, work uh, doggedly uh, to try and promote the the great sport, the esport Team Fortress Two. Um, and we, we totally appreciate the work that you carry out. So, uh, oh, yeah, keep going at it, guys. You, we love you, and uh, you're awesome. Uh, of course, check out critscast.com and subscribe, of course, to our YouTube channel, YouTube forward slash critscast, K R I T Z K S T, critscast. <laughs> I don't think you could sing our name. We yeah. can try, though. Yeah, we can try. Yeah, all right. See you guys. Have fun. See you guys in a second. Bye.